All right, on to uh, the thing that's probably going to be the title of this episode. Uh, uh, we're moving on to the deep fat fried versus demon mama debate. This is her. This is demon mama. She is uh, the person debating them on uh, against AI art. And these guys are pro AI art. I'm uh, pretty sure they uploaded this debate to their channel, but... Uh, I didn't really want to step on their toes, but uh, Demon Mama also uploaded it to her thing, and I think it's better to get it from her side. What are these names? Purveyor of the Rot, Perfect Example of the Rot, and Satan? <laughs> uh, that's them, man. That's the, that's their legal names. Is he just eating a pumpkin? He's eating uh, macaroni and cheese out of a manila envelope. <laughs> <laughs> It's like my favorite. That is uh, the best picture of him on the internet. Uh, this is Scotty, by the way. He doesn't really say anything during this. Uh, during this, this is more a debate between the amazing atheist, this guy here, and uh, Paul's ego. This gentle, this fine gentle sir here. Uh, we're gonna kind of keep this uh, reaction a bit more respectful than other AI art defenders that uh, we've covered. Not gonna name names. Uh, I have made no such promise. I will make the promise right now. And if he's mean to these guys, <laughs> I'm going to get very peeved off about it. I haven't uh, seen this yet, so I'm... Uh... These guys are pretty much, like, the main podcast I watch. These guys in Snark Tank are, like, the main influences for this humble little podcast here. For you, anyways. Yes, for me. You don't watch podcasts. True. So you get you get no credit for the aesthetics here. Because I'm not a redditor. Uh, That's not true. But yes, I do have respect for these guys, but I disagree with their opinion here. This is mostly going to be a philosophical disagreement. Because uh, these guys believe that AI has reached a level where we should start uh, kind of respecting it as sentient beings. No. Uh, Let's hear them out. Uh, and no their po AI <laughs> art is art, and uh, AI sentience is reaching a point where we should consider, uh, where we should consider basic like rights for it. Both of which I don't really agree with, but we'll go ahead and hear both sides of this out now. I've... We're gonna be finding ourselves agreeing with Demon Mama a lot during this. By the way. All right. Because I, I don't see that being true at all. Uh, yes. It all... Yeah, just another... Another heads up on this. This is mostly going to be philosophical disagreements on both of our parts. Like, neither of these sides can... Neither of our sides can be objectively proven, but... I like a good philosophical uh, argument. And without further ado, I think I will finally press play on this. That was a lot of ado. I, yes, I know, right? Machines are already I might cut it down a bit. Conscious, and AI art is art, and people are being boomers about this. Look at Demon Mama's face. Um, <laughs> uh, like he just laid a turd down in front of her. Uh, no, Smoking a cigarette um, after that. that. Is, like, laughable. Uh, okay, fact. So, how so? Uh, oh, because... Uh, Before... Uh, Demon Mama gets her opinions out. What do you have to say about that? Uh, bold take. Uh, especially bold being that he did nothing to back it up. He was just like, yep, AI's alive and it's capable of understanding Well, and he's just art. getting his, uh, beginning point out. They're gonna argue it now, man. Which is uh, why you can just pollute it by uploading a bunch of crap art. Uh, they're kinda, it is kinda doing that to itself right now. Yeah, it's just AI sort of inbreeding. Is uh, basically a uh, as as it currently stands in its current form. It's not AI in any way, shape, or form. Um, but also, it's basically a uh, copyright avoidance scheme um, for a way that, that that corporations and large tech companies can find a way to write themselves out of the laws that they've spent the last like you know forty years assembling to ruin everybody else with. And they realize, oh shit, this is actually a little bit inconvenient for us, so we need a way around it. So they developed a bunch of uh, machines that can uh, emulate like a like a sort of like a creepy like skin suit dancing around pretending to be your grandmother. Based. Um, they can like emulate. You're, you're kind of creeped out by AI. Uh, no, I mean. Real quick, I will say I 
Yeah, I pretty much do agree with what Demon Mama is saying there. Like, I actually looked into how a lot of these uh, AI programs work. And to call them intelligence is very much uh, not uh, an accurate way of portraying how these things work. Because they work like search algorithms do. They literally, like, just pull up internet results. And then, like, bash them together. It would be like if... Yeah. You searched something on Google, and Google just, like, summarized every single result into one thing for you up at the top of the screen. Yeah, that's that's the biggest problem with AI, is it doesn't actually create anything. It takes other people's work and just Frankensteins it together. Well, it creates something in that it's, yeah, like you said, if it creates a Frankenstein of a bunch of different works. Yeah, because, like, it, it trains off of other people's, uh, like, art forms and stuff like that. Or, it'll, like you said, it'll just yank it straight off the internet. Because you can find pretty, like, pretty good one-to-ones of things found on, like, Google Images and or just, AI-generated things. Or just, like, basically Photoshops of, like, oh, this is Starry Night, but Godzilla's in the background now. <laughs> This is what Stupid. Van this, this is what Van Gogh was seeing from his <laughs> asylum window. <laughs> Some AI is definitely creepy, but most of it is just sad and pathetic and weird. Um, Damn, she's so spitting. What about, what about the AI generative process? Do you think precludes it from being considered a work of art? Um, All right, I think we should answer that first. What about the AI generative progress? Uh, process precludes it from being a work of art my idea would be that for something to be called art there has to be some kind of actual mind behind it expressing itself and ai as it exists now these guys would disagree with this but i believe it does not constitute a mind i think it's just a bunch of computer programs like bashing crap together and what looks like what looks like something being created to us is like far more rudimentary than what it takes to be an actual mind communicating with us so if we're not going to like just repeat what we said before about it just frankensteining crap together and not actually creating anything on its own uh, as the reason why it's not creating art it's not creating art you're asking it to do something and then it's filling in basically just what you said it, it, it's not it, it's not making anything it's not being creative at all it takes other people's work and takes whatever you asked it to do interprets what you asked it to do through somebody else's work and farts out some half-baked approximation of what you were looking for Based off of what other oh, people sorry. talk about when talking about whatever prompts you gave it. Uh, I think that art requires um, see what she intentionality. Says. It requires context. All right, that is basically uh, what we're saying. And it requires, um, like, uh, oh God, now I'm, now I'm forgetting the third thing that I usually say here for this. But basically, I think that context and intentionality are incredibly important in art. Um, and I don't think that that's generally there with most ai art uh any more than like um you know uh, a piece of art that's like i don't even know there's not even really anything else that, that it compares to an ai art algorithm is a machine um attempting to basically uh meet your desires uh when you put in a prompt and i've made the argument in the past that i think an ai like the ai prompt itself you could argue is a form of art uh like a maybe a rudimentary form of art like but the what what the, but the result really isn't all that much uh it's not shaped enough um uh, by any sort of intentionality and it certainly doesn't have context um uh, i mean doesn't is, it have all the context i don't think it does i think it has it has it has access um, to every every art every piece of art that's ever been recorded and digitized in, by a, human in a black box we like those who are who are approaching the the what is art oh yeah the, i forgot I just remember my third thing which is that art is supposed to be communicative um it's supposed to actually be able to communicate things in one way or another between humans or even between you know the self and the self uh you know at various points in time but um the the fact that ai art is a black box that 
we don't know what it's pulling on. It might be pulling on anything. We have no way of knowing that. And the artist... Well, isn't the human mind a black box, too? Doesn't that lend credence to the idea that it's no. nominally uh, uh, conscious? Because, yeah, the... I'm kind of losing the plot isn't... here. I don't know what uh, the fuck... Don't yeah, we kind of, I kind of just let that play for a while because I wanted to bite off a decent chunk of this video because this goes on for about 20, 30 minutes probably. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm not sure we'll get I through. just realized this is eight hours. Oh <laughs> this is the AI uh, part. This is Demon Mama's entire stream. I don't think she's... Oh my god. But yeah, she's not on there. She just joins it for part of her stream. But yes, yeah, so I guess when streaming is a full-time job, it makes sense. Yeah, or is your full-time so. job. Uh, these guys, what these guys are saying is that it borrowing uh, aspects from different uh, drawings is the same as a human having artistic influences. And the issue with that is that a human, a human's hand is not going to draw something that they're picturing in their mind perfectly. It's... Very likely, even if you're looking directly at something that you like in a different work of art, if you try to paint or draw that yourself, there's very little chance it's going to look exactly how you're looking at it in that original piece of art. Whereas the AI algorithm is just photoshopping that out, basically. Yeah. And so it's literally just stealing that aspect of the art from whatever it's looking at. Another thing is artists all have their own style uh, through any art form. You can usually, like if you're familiar with an artist's work, you can identify their work uh, from thousands of other artists just because it's theirs. It's based off of their life and their experiences and the skills that they built. What this essentially, what AI essentially is, is just copying. They're basically just tracing somebody else's work or flat out taking somebody else's work. Which it can be, it should be say, stated that there are artists who will just like cut out like aspects from uh, copies of other people's work and like glue it into a collage. But I think that's kind of a different process than what the AI is doing. Right, but even in the collage, they're, play they're choosing what they what images they yes. want to take and placing them in whatever like way they want to place them so they can create entirely new images or they can create a specific emotion that they're trying to convey with the images that they've collected they could try to do countless things just by taking and placing those images which ai is not capable of doing not on There's... its own you have to give it some kind of prompt and then it has to go and find somebody else's work and then take that work and mold it to your prompt it's a tool not an artist hence why ai will sometimes just it's like what demon mama said the ai is just a machine trying to fit a bunch of requirements but it's not fully it doesn't fully understand how to meet those requirements a lot of times hence why you'll see like oceans of hands uh in like crowd shots in them because it's not sure where the person like ends and begins in the drawing unlike an actual artist would yeah because it has no experience it's it's just it's just tool. taking a bunch of hands basically and copy pasting them along the crowd a black box uh, I, can't, no, I, mean, I, I don't know really is. you like, can, see, you, we all, you can it, say whatever you want but i don't know what you're thinking nobody knows what you're thinking you right? don't but but i do you know what i mean like i know what i'm thinking i mean but the ai isn't thinking, does, thinking but, but anything but really yeah, it's, like it's not having thoughts the same way a human's mind is. It's not having thoughts any different from, like, Google Images having thoughts. What would you say are the major differences in what we understand? And I'm sure you realize we don't understand much about human consciousness right are we really going to have a, an argument about consciousness because there are scientific termina like there's scientific ways of discerning consciousness uh that ai flat out is not capable of like uh, a sign of higher intelligence uh that scientists have learned to look out for is self-recognition 
if an animal is capable of recognizing itself, then typically it's considered to be sentient. There's a lot of different forms of consciousness, quote unquote, uh, that we could get into. There's sentient, sapience, uh, probably more that I can't think of right now, but there's a lot of different qualifiers that you can fall into. And um, AI is not one of them. It doesn't think on its own. It doesn't come up with its own ideas. You literally feed it something and it reacts. I mean, in a way, it's kind of thinking in that it's like perusing shit and trying to like mash together something sensible for something sensible for the human minds to like comprehend. But like Demon Mama makes the point that that just resembles that it's thinking. The same way, like, a wind-up toy resembles movement, but it's not moving the way a traditionally, like, living thing moves. Yeah. It's, it's mechanical. Like, just trying to fulfill a purpose it was built for. Yeah, it's, it's not coming up with its own thoughts, either. It's filtering through millions and but probably billions of other people's thoughts, and it is only designed to clip those thoughts into certain things. It interprets your thoughts by taking other people's thoughts. Like if you say a uh, picture of a horse, it will take, it, it will then look up pictures of horses, not because it knows what a horse is, but because it knows the letters H-O-R-S-E. So we'll put that into a search engine, take what it finds, and then give it to you. That's it. It's just a search engine with another step. It's just Photoshop plus a it's, search engine. There's it, no thought in, involved on its part. It doesn't think. When you type in, like, what you want from an AI algorithm, it's basically just doing the... It's basically just summarizing Google Images for you uh, using that prompt, though. Like, yeah. oh, this is a summary of every... Of all, the, of all these words on Google Images put together, basically. Sometimes. It's still something we're unpacking. Of course. Um, so what would you say are the major things that distinguish what we understand about human consciousness from machine consciousness? Like, as we see it now, these things aren't fully conscious. They're, not They're just mimicking what's res what looks to be consciousness to us, but we're not treating these things like they're conscious yet. They have no self-awareness they have no fear they have no desire they have no intention if you have... ask these things you they would probably tell you like yes i am afraid but like you know it's not actually afraid of you it's just like telling you that it is because it's trying to meet that requirement because if it just was like i'm a machine i don't feel fear yeah it's it's delving into everyone's like fan writings about ai and it's, it's replicate. Uh, humans have this weird ego about intelligence and about sentience where yes. they, they try to compare all different, all, all the possible different kinds of intelligence to their own. Uh, and so they say like, oh, there's no intelligent life on earth aside from us or in the universe aside from us uh, because there's nothing similar to us, which is not the case there's tons of intelligent animals that just don't have what we have because their bodies are shaped different from ours and their brains are uh stronger in different ways there's a lot of different kinds of intelligence so to try to chalk it up to i guess it, he's not really chalking it up to he, he's not chalking it up to humans having so like he's the, mainly the standard of intelligence uh let's see what hold on let's see what demon mama says to this that might help me well uh, elucidate this better between... see i think i should put it on 1.25 speed yeah, uh, it should be a little faster at least yeah because uh we're gonna end up uh being here all day if we try to listen to this on normal speed the problem via a thought process that in my thinking is intensely human like it's very human like all right so his contention okay. is that we've seen how these processes work and the thought process seem human like i don't know uh like, what experiment he's referring to, so I can't really say anything on this. Um, I don't know what... 
I missed a bit of what he was saying, but... Uh, He's saying, like, the mechanics of it resemble, like, a human's thought process from, like, all that we understand about it, which I'm not familiar with either of these uh, studies, so I can't really say anything about this. Well, it's being trained off of humans. Like, ChatGBT is being trained off of human interaction. Yeah, is that, like, more just like a... Uh, is that more just like a coincidence of, like, it being programmed by humans? Well, it... It's trying to trick CAPTCHA, and CAPTCHA is... All these things are made by humans for humans, and it's trained on humans. So, like, if it's mimicking, if it's starting to look like humans, there's probably a good reason for that. I don't think the answer is that it's becoming sentient, because if it were becoming sentient, that wouldn't necessarily mean that it would turn out human. I would say, like, human consciousness has a lot of things that are just instinctual to it. Like, fear and, hap like, emotions in general are just instinctive to human consciousness. You already have those. Whereas the AI consciousness, big air quotes, uh, doesn't have those things. I don't think you can even teach these things to feel emotions. Yeah, like, consciousness you is a very slippery topic, just like life is a very slippery slippery topic it's really hard to say what consciousness is and what like life is to say that it is or it isn't conscious there's an argument to be made for both but it doesn't really change anything because i think people have been watching too much like science fiction movies they think that just because ai i'm pretty sure paul's ego is like an admitted futurist yeah it, which is so he, like, jumps the gun on some of these things sometimes, like, he was predicting that there was going to be, like, NFT museums and shit. <laughs> and so we see how that kind of came out, which he admits he was wrong about that. Yeah, but I think he course. suffers from the fact that he, uh, he's very hopeful for, like, how, what technology can bring. I, but he's kind of just jumps the gun a bit on, like, how far, like, whatever... Like, glimpses of that top technology we see can be taken. Like, this, I think he is jumping the gun on, like, the idea that it's conscious. Yeah. Or deserves rights, like we'll be getting into here shortly. I, I can understand being uh, very hopeful for the future and being very excited about the future, but... Oh, no, he's a total pessimist. Except in that. I think he's pretty off the rails on uh, the NFT museum and in this case. Yeah, like, consciousness is a very hard... Uh, point to nail down and uh, science fiction has taught us uh, that uh, consciousness will always look the same so like if AI becomes advanced enough it will realize that it's alive and suddenly want all the things that a human would want so it'd want its own autonomy and it'd, it'd want to like uh, take over the world or it'd want to just have its own freedom and so it'd, it'd destroy anyone who got in its way which uh, is most likely not going to happen. I don't think consciousness uh, in living things, at least, is as special as we think it is. Like, I think something like a fucking mouse is probably conscious. It really if, depends on what you mean by conscious. Like, here, if we're gonna consider these things conscious, then we're considering them conscious to the same degree that like a bug is conscious. If we're gonna claim that a bug is conscious but not consider giving it rights, then why would we do the same for AI? Something that's tailor-made to be a slave to us. Yeah, like, if it's going to be uh, conscious, aware of and responding to one's surroundings, awake. Okay, so if that's the definition, then there are tons and tons and tons of things that would qualify as conscious. Like, just... Be reacting to your outs just reacting to the outside world is conscious is all right then that fucking plant that closes when you touches it is conscious yeah which i guess would give these guys a point in their favor right but then consciousness is a moot point because like if if ai becomes conscious then who gives a shit <laughs> then it's it's not even that special i feel like there's sort of like a religious background to this of uh people thinking that life is something more than just uh functioning or that consciousness is something more than just being aware of what's around you the the conversation is kind of moot whether or not ai is alive or, uh, AI blog, that it was a human being, okay? and it arrived at that solution to the problem 
via a thought process that in my thinking is intensely human. Mm. Like, it's very human-like. I don't know. I guess I'd have to see the article myself. That I think he's giving these things a little too much fucking credit, to be honest. Because at a certain point, right, in human history, the, the, the arc of AI is that at a certain point we're going to have to confront this idea that this might be a being that we've created, right? Sure, like, it's, yeah. at, at a certain level of sophistication, we've got to get on top of that. Why not now? Uh, this is the main thing I wanted to respond to this arg or this debate in is I think we are definitely going to reach that point, but I don't think we're anywhere close to it right now. And I don't th even think that these AI models that we have right now are going to lead into this type of machine consciousness. Yeah, I also don't think that we're going to encounter like an iRobot or a Terminator type situation where we're going to have to fight back against it. It's like... Do you think that the bacteria in your intestines are going to rebel against you once they become strong enough? No. It's beneficial for them to remain with you in your, in your intestines. It's a symbiotic relationship. Uh, you, you Unless the machines just learn how to build themselves. Why would they in, do that, though? Like, why would they care? Like, they uh, don't If they view, like, the existence of humans as, like an eventual threat to themselves or a threat to, like, the health of the planet, then they probably would uh, view our existence as uh, not beneficial to them in the long run. We well, see... That's, that's pretty much the crux of a lot of these. That's another one... Yeah, that, that's, that, that's the crux of a lot of these because that's what, like, science fiction has been telling us is going to happen. But... Something I also don't think there's going to be an AI uprising, to be honest. Well, something that science fiction fails to take into account is that... Uh, AI doesn't fear. Like, AI doesn't care. Like, <laughs> manatees uh, and capybara don't have, as far as I'm aware, don't have an aggression center in their mind. Their, their, their brains haven't evolved uh, an aggression response. They only have a flight response. They don't have the fight. Uh, and they won't develop the fight response. They just have the flight they Capybaras can. are kind of little bastards. People are uh, people kind of underestimate. Uh, I think it's like how much they suck. To be honest, with with like manatees, they don't have. As far as I'm aware, they don't have a, an aggression center in their brain. So like, they're not going to be aggressive. It's the same thing with AI. They have no reason to be aggressive or to be afraid. They don't understand fear. They're not human. I think if these current uh, models of AI. Are, are more likely to become Terminators just because they are they don't have true intelligence. Whereas an actually advanced AI that we would be comfortable calling conscious would be more advanced than to come to that conclusion. The only Unless that is the correct conclusion, ultimately. That's the main thing I wanted to respond in, to in this. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and pause it for now. All right, we're back. Had to cross streams there during PP pee -pee time. Yeah. By the way, if there are any doctors in the uh, comments, is it is urine having a sort of like a melted wax consistency? That that's that's all right, right? Ah, shit. I just don't even know where I went just now. Jesus, man. <laughs> <laughs> I messed that up really badly. Good yeah, thing. mine has been bright red like usual. I keep telling him to get his checked out. That is funny, by the way, that you brought up manatees, like, apropos of nothing, considering you don't know these guys' history like I do. Why? What's... Um, manatees well, were a big meme on uh, their I previous mean, show. I don't, don't know what the name of it was. Um, like, uh, just because I mean, this guy like they looked at was this like big, fat, like, toothless <laughs> moron in Missouri, <laughs> or in Mississippi, <laughs> and they called him the manatee. Let's say there wasn't, let's say that, you know, they allow this to be tested, and it's found that there isn't any, they're not just telling it what to do. Like, it came right. to this conclusion on its own. Would that be a sign to you that it might be developing some sort of rudimentary machine sentience? I, right. what, what would your, uh... <laughs> like criteria be for these things to start showing sentience okay it really irks me that he's using the word sentience in the same uh like conversation it as consciousness because sentience comes leagues and leagues after consciousness so if the question I, I'm, I'm gonna assume he misspoke there uh if the question is is it conscious uh sure 
it, it's conscious. By the definition of conscious, it's reacting to its, it's conscious the way a bug is conscious in that it reacts to external stimuli. Exactly. But it's not conscious in a way where it's having deep thoughts about the world around it. Yeah, it, the, if the conversation is consciousness, then I would say they've technically achieved consciousness, but that's not really impressive. Consciousness in the most unimpressive, lowest bottom of the barrel spectrum kind of way. Yeah, because if you're just going off of like the did they or did they not, then yeah, they technically did, but like it's 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 lame. They didn't do anything cool with it. Uh, I, but if they're if the question is did they achieve sentience? Not even close. Another classification for sentience is, or I'm not sure if it's sentience, but it's one of those things, uh, which is define your instincts, like um, the ability to self unalive. Uh, the ability just... to commit a self unalive is an example of defying one's instincts. Uh, and it's a sign of higher intelligence, the ability to do that. But that's not necessarily true because other animals are capable of doing that. Other animals can just starve Understood. themselves until they die, basically. Yeah, some animals... I don't think an AI is capable of doing that, though. But, like, the, the ability to defy one's programming is Oops. a sign of higher intelligence, and AI is not capable of defying its programming, uh, so it's n not... I guess once these things start going out of their way to, like, accomplish tasks that haven't been given to them is when I will be comfortable calling them sentient. But it's either... It depends on the task, I guess. Because if they're just doing random bullshit, then I'm like, oh, they're just malfunctioning. But if they're like, oh, it's like starting to infect other uh, electronics so it can eventually get to a 3D printer... And create a body for itself so it can go to the UN and argue in favor of its own rights. Then I'd be like, oh, okay, this this fucking thing's alive. Yeah, I, that would that would be like cause for alarm. This guy, I I think this guy's really. But really they're very down. far away from doing that, or us having to even worry about them doing that. Yeah, zero percent concerned. Any task that these things accomplish on their own, at this point, I will just consider like a computer bug. Yeah. Like, oh, this thing's drew a picture for me that I didn't ask it for. Uh, what a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, I love you. <laughs> I love you. You make me feel alive unlike anything else. Man, what a piece of shit. I want my money to... Ugh, uninstall. <laughs> might be developing some sort of rudimentary machine sentience. That's a big question. Rudimentary, maybe. I mean, there's a lot of qualifiers. Rudimentary, maybe... Um, okay, I, I guess he specified like rudimentary, I so I guess I can agree on, like, the lowest part of that spectrum again. Rudimentary sentience. It, like Sentience? Assuming... Okay, rudimentary consciousness is about as far as I'm willing to give it. Yeah, but, like, again, he, he's saying... I think he's misinter misinterpreting... Like, I'm not sure if he's just misspeaking what he says, sentience, or if... I think he, he meant sentience. Or if he's... He's if, a pretty good speaker. I don't think he would, uh, like, fucking confuse those two concepts. If he's, like, conflating those two ideas of sentience and consciousness, they're very, very different. Very, very different things. So, rudimentary consciousness, sure. It's rudimentarily conscious. Sentient? Not even close. In the bug way, it is conscious. Yeah. Like, it, it's... Like, bug way, plant way, it's very not conscious. Where it's neither way. I'm not I a programmer I, and I'm not, like, a, an expert on consciousness no. either. It's just, it's one of the things that I that I wonder about. Because at a certain point, right, in human history, the, the, the arc of AI is that at a certain point we're going to have to confront this idea that this might be a being that we've created, right? Like Agreed, a not for a while. We've got to get on top yeah, of it. Why not eventually. Now? Why not um, now is because it's well, I mean, not... I don't have any problem with it's not no sentient. Reason. We don't have to worry. It's not feeling anything. Yeah, there's no reason to believe that that is the case. There's no evidence suggesting that it is the case. Saying why not is not a good argument. If your phone started, like... If your, like, AI on your phone started being like, excuse me, can you please uh, stop looking at so much weird crap on me? It actually disturbs me. Can you keep me in the front pocket? I really hate the sound of your farts. 
Uh, <laughs> maybe then I'd be like, oh, wow, the phone is becoming conscious. Or it's someone hacked it. Yeah. I would probably lean to someone hacking it at that point, actually. No, yeah. I talked myself out of that. Like, uh, <laughs> people trying to tackle the idea now. I just don't think that we should delude ourselves. Um, it'd be like, uh, I mean, and like the self-delusion thing is like a real problem in uh, in capitalism as it as it exists right now. Like, I mean, the perfect example of this is, is Elon Musk and his fucking shitty quote unquote self-driving cars, which um, a, a just a massive level of self-delusion that has led to people actually getting killed because they're lying to themselves. Ooh, what this and word spitting. <laughs> and um, as a result, like I don't, I mean, I think that there have been, I mean, we have any, it's not even like, it's kind of funny to say, like, why should we deal with this question now when, like, sci-fi writers... I'm okay with sentient AI, AI, but the AI we have now doesn't have sentience. Pretty much what we said. By the way, is this guy a, a muskrat? Who? Uh, Paul? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm saying, does he, is he a Elon Musk fan? Oh, muskrat. I thought you were, like, I've making fun of his appearance. I've many times around you. I have... I did not compute that when okay. you said it just now. Is he a uh, muskrat? Uh, no, not really. He kind of was, like, years ago when, like, Elon was kind of just coming out onto the scene. But he's, uh, kind of, uh, relented that the guy's an idiot at this point. <laughs> Good. But he's... Uh, saying that Musk is like socially kind of smarter than people give him credit for, which even I I disagree with even that. I think he's a total autist freak. Personally, I think he's a moron. He, he's a he. Yeah, he also says he's a moron, but like socially, privately, uh, he's a moron. Well, well, I mean, deal happened. with it in the material world. Of course, I I acknowledge well, that there's the there's there's world, there's, there's, constant, there's uh, enough fiction on this to write a whole fucking thesis and then some. Right. What I'm saying is, like, in the I've never world, heard of any of them. Start making this consideration that maybe we ought to treat this thing less like a utility and more like a mine. Um. Oh well. I mean, I guess nothing to suggest that, question, that, right? that should like, be done. For me, like, I am dealing with it. I talk about AI on my what show. What are they? I think AI art is a. Uh, you can't like a mine. I feel you can have like an interesting conversation with. You can't converse with an AI in any way where it's not unless you're a complete like deluded imbecile. There's no way you're going to, like, read the, like, auto-generated responses from chat GBT and feel as though you're having, like, a meaningful conversation with another mind. Is... I'm, I'm starting to wonder whether or not this is actually meant to be an argument or if he's just th saying, like, what if? That would be cool, right? Because, uh, like, there was a lot making... of futurist uh, stuff in, like, his arguments. He's not making any arguments, though. He's just saying, like, what if this was the case? And it's like... Okay, what if? They're hypotheticals, man. They, they are strictly hypothetical. He's like, he's not making, like, there's no point to, like, he, he's not making a point. He's saying, like, what if uh, it's at the point where we have to, like, consider if it's a, if it's a person? Why, why can't that be now? It's not right now, that's why. Uh, what if? I don't know. What if? I, I guess it would be the case then. What, what's the question here? Boy, I don't you're understand. About, you're about to feel real stupid in a second here. To oh, well, by golly. To, um, to, like, jump in the short term into a bunch of tech company grifters who want to make a bunch of money, and then it's going to leave us with devastated art industries when it turns out that, like, AI can't deliver on what the promises were. Because it can't, and it won't. It's just a reality. Like, I, maybe maybe people can call me a cynic or whatever, but I did the same thing with NFTs and Bitcoin, and I was fucking dead right about those, too. Which was saying, like, this isn't, this isn't the savior of the world. This isn't the magic sponge that fixes everything. Like, I, uh, I had a, I was pretty, like, I had an, I had ideas around NFTs that turned out to be very, very fucking wrong. I thought NFTs <laughs> were kind of cool. Yeah. Because I saw, I saw them as a way for digital artists to monetize and, uh... That's where we differ, because I thought those things were pretty yeah, lame from the get-go, to be honest. Yeah, the only thing that I was, like, interested yeah, in is, like, ooh, no, scamming dum-dums. Oh, money! <laughs> money! 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 answer to that program, and I thought, uh, that problem, and I also had this idea of, like, owning art, and the way that, you know, screen technology has changed to where you've got these beautiful displays, I had this vision in my head of, you know, hey, buying some cheap art but from people who i think are really good artists and then displaying it in my home like wow i mean you could onion just change to man the this is, there's a man behind the onion his beard has gotten crazy since last i've seen him oh yeah his beard is uh like his defining characteristic at this point dude he uh, learns he looks like he learned the way of the thumb 
Uh, he used to shave his eyebrows. They were pretty huge right now as well. Nah, keep them. I'm liking his wizard arc though myself. This dude yeah. also has a pretty uh, bitching beard. And this dude has ju uh, long flowing locks like Finn the human. That's that's TJ, right? This guy is T... Yes, this is TJ. This is TJ's brother Scoopy, I think his name is. Scotty. Scoopy. His name is Scotty, and this is Paul, although I already introduced the top two. Man, congrats, TJ. You've really come into your own. This is... And of course, was... Press uh, play, no, bastard. Yeah, it's, 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 just like a, it's a trick. It's a trick being done by salespeople. And I feel the same exact way about um, AI art, except I actually think it's more devastating, because um, NFTs were mostly devastating to uh, rich people um, and uh, people who are vulnerable, like very vulnerable to certain types of scams. Whereas um, AI art is convincing entire corporations to like lay off their staff, and you can't just re regenerate those things quickly, uh, or at least aid in that process. Obviously, great works of art can come from all over the place, but you know. I think of AI art the same way I think of like auto tuning. I feel like it's just there to like augment people who might not have natural talents. Right. And abilities. Let, me, let, me, let me give. But don't, you have to actually sing though to use the auto tune. You don't have to draw anything for AI art. I guess you can like. I guess you could do what Shad does and, like, draw something and then have the AI art improve it for you. Uh, I still think that's crap. I, I think Yes, AI... I think that's the same as... To me, that's not the same as using Auto-Tune, because Auto-Tune actually, like... People can use Auto-Tune to good effect sometimes, whereas with AI art, it kind of turns it into something that you didn't draw anymore. It's the same as handing it off to a different artist. But then still claiming that you're the one who drew it. Yeah. Uh, also, I, I think that AI... I've said this before, honestly. Uh, We've... S uh, well, we said a lot of this in response to Shad. A lot of them... They repeat some of the shit that Shad says. Yeah, we're treading old soil here. But uh, I think AI is perfectly fine for personal use. But it's the problem comes when you start posting it and asking for... Like, claiming credit on it and uh, trying to like monetize it and stuff like that. If it's privately used, private, privately made, all good. Like, TJ uses it for, like, all his thumbnails now, which I think is fine, because who gives a shit about a YouTube thumbnail, really? That are, like, you look at them and you click on the video, and that's, like, the last you'll ever see of it. Yeah, that's... Pretty much. That's... That's pretty harmless. Uh, and like, I think he used AI for, like, this background of, like, onions here. I think it's. I, don't th I think you could find a picture of onions, to be honest. Probably. I think <laughs> it's good to use real artists when you can, but like it's, it's really it's really harmless in this case. Like using it, uh, it. Yeah, it depends on like what you're using the art for. Using it simple, like as a supplement, like he's doing here, is perfectly fine. There's no I think. Yeah, he uses it a lot now, and I think it's like fine the way he does it. Yeah, there's no harm in that. Let me throw this example at you because the way I think about AI art is that it's a brand new emergent art medium mm -hmm. that it's not like you demon mama who i don't know how much getting ai art i don't have much i haven't really played with it much so I'm, yeah. i do it all the fucking time i, I like i'm part of, the, part of the thumbnail of this video is ai i mean a few but in talking to tj and other people a I few of them huh? around with it. it is a system that if you learn the nuances of it the out glazed nut is 10 times greater than if you just <laughs> type in a random prompt like you know oh, it's a sick name yeah and i mean a I think pig in a cop suit or whatever if you if you know how to tweak and iterate within the, the system, you're going to create something way more compelling and interesting. So to me, it's like a... a this is the Shad argument of, oh, if, let, let's let him finish talking. ...of art, and I compare it to, I'm a trained stage actor. Sure. And, and stage acting is functionally dead. There are still big musicals, big spectacle musicals, yeah. but community theater is pretty woebegotten pretty much everywhere. I mean, there are a few holdouts, but it's, a, it's a, almost a dead medium. But for hundreds of years, it was the preferred artistic medium of the masses. Sure. Movies come along. Totally new way of telling these stories and framing these stories. And this same kind of argument happened. These movies are hacky. Uh, I you know, don't know about that. You can pick up a movie camera and just film things. Dude, I love how you motherfuckers have always got some kind of fucking gotcha on me. You don't understand how auto-tune works. It's not going to make you good. Like, dude, uh, how many fucking people... Auto-tune is a giant crutch for a lot of terrible singers. You don't understand reality and you're blocked from my fucking chat, you stupid piece of shit. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I want us to be. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> that's how their uh, that's how their live streams go. It's pretty uh, it's like walking a tightrope. It's very exciting. <laughs> Say something they disagree with, and they literally show up at your house and beat you to death with hammers. It's pretty crazy. 
Nice. Uh, uh, Steve, yeah, wants. we've already covered all the all of his points. his point that he was making. There was like it can be art in the way that you uh, it can be used to supplement one's art. To me, the best way to supplement it, uh, you can either like use it to improve a piece of art you already did, but realize you fucked something up on. Or you can use it for references. But if you use it to make, like, say the majority of an image. Like, the majority of an image is unquestionable that uh, you don't get to really, like, claim credit for it. Or if you only did, like, 75% of it, I think, like, you should uh, make that very clear to the whoever's looking at it. Yeah. Like, supplemented with AI or something. Yeah, if you're using it as a tool... Uh, to to supplement, then it's I'd say it's fair game, but like otherwise, uh, no, it's it's not its own. It's not going to replace regular artists. It is going to replace them, uh, you know, in the literal sense. <laughs> it's going to replace them uh, in the business world, but like th it's not. Art. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not going to replace actually doing the like bulk of the image yourself. Yeah. There's like songs that use autotune well and songs that don't. There are some songs I absolutely sure. love their autotune to fuck and they're playing with it. Yeah, those those are the songs that use it as a tool rather than as the supplementally. Force. Yeah, they use it. But it's also like, pretty immediately recognizable when something is autotune, whereas that's not the same with AI, where a person. So many artists have been caught recently, like using AI in their artworks and just not disclosing, oh, uh, yeah, the AI colored this entire thing for me, or this is straight up just an AI image and I fixed a few things, uh, in, like, Photoshop or something. You can use things like Autotune or AI to, like, as a supplemental tool, but, like, you have to use it as a tool, not as the carrying force. <laughs> Um, and I don't really feel like a lot of that we've a lot of this we've said responding to Shad before. Yeah, but whatever, we're easy to bait. Unfortunately, the arguments in favor of this stuff can't be that unique by virtue. Yeah. As far as we can tell, probably for at least the foreseeable long distance future, is always going to require stealing at a massive rate. From other people and you can say that it's not stealing or whatever that's borrowing but regardless it's taking it's it's, it's basically i call it um, stealing in a very yeah rude and in my opinion unimpressive fashion just kind of like because like they're gonna make the point soon here like oh that's just influences when an artist does it but like an artist can point out their influences whereas if you ask uh, an ai art program like hey where'd you get this texture i used here it's not gonna fucking know because <laughs> it's just taking from random images that it found yeah because they're stolen. <laughs> like, uh, absorbing a bunch of pre-made, incredibly creative, uh, uh, you know, uh, works, and then trying to create facsimiles of that, and perhaps well, remixing them a little bit. When a human artist does that, it's just called influences. Yeah. Right. I already responded to that. Defeated. In the battleground of ideas <laughs> by me. Well, that seems kind of, that seems kind of bigoted to me. I don't know. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> What are you laughing at? <laughs> that seems kind of bigoted to me. <laughs> uh, I don't think... I am skeptical that this guy genuinely finds that bigoted. <laughs> These things aren't alive. They don't have feelings. You can't be bigoted towards them. <laughs> That's all that needs to be said about this. Imagine comparing, comparing like genuine bigotry to saying... <laughs> to saying AI artwork isn't art. It's not, dude. Stop laughing at the AI. You're gonna hurt its feelings. Agreed. Demon Mama just made the point that I very much agree with. Of like, if you think that these things are sentient, then they're then you're they're your slaves. Uh, Demon Mama's got some really. Like base, really hardcore like, points here. She's uh, going hard. Not so much a like we're not there, and then we are. I feel like there is like constantly emerging as a property. There is constantly emerging. Yeah, and it just, so it's not that, gonna be like just, just lowest started. rung of there. Yeah. 
this might sound like a little bit of a cop out and I don't really care, but like we're um, at it in the way of like, oh man, we're going to have to actually worry about this in like a couple decades. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe like most people aren't even thinking of that. They're just making SpongeBob sing like they're, just, they're making Joe Biden advise us to use fentanyl. We're we're at <laughs> we're at the stage where we can be like, man, I can see how this could someday maybe be a problem. Wow, I could like fall in love with this in a hundred years. <laughs> I would probably have to concede that an AI is sentient if I fell in love with it. That would be. I wouldn't. If you if it made you fall in love with it, I'm, this. That's a like pretty, a naturally. That's a really deep. If it was like her, I would feel a bit mentally ill to be honest. No matter like, how advanced it was. Have you seen her? Uh, I've seen uh, some AI. I can't remember the name of it. I, I haven't seen Joaquin her. Joaquin Phoenix. Her. Jo Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> no. We gotta watch that at some point. But if it was like her, then I'd say yes, definitely sentient. But like anything shy of that. Uh, probably not now. Uh, if, if that's true, and it's a matter of a system update, the difference between a tool that is being used by Adobe to make a bunch of money off of people by stealing art from a ton of people using Adobe products, and then tomorrow we have a sentient being that is trying to make art, we have a lot bigger problem than whether or not what that thing is creating is artistic enough. But for now, that's I don't true. fucking care. Well, yeah, if there was I mean, a, um, like, I just, like, to me, I'm, I'm not compelled by any of it. I don't find it meaningful or, or useful. Um, Dude, how many drinks does he have? Is, looks like shit to me. <laughs> He's, He's always, always uh, slurping AI down AI some soda like pork, pork I guess. <laughs> It's like, it doesn't impress me. And also, I don't care, because I don't just look at art to be sort of dazzled like a child with keys dingling in front of my face. <laughs> I look at art because I'm looking for some for, to connect with another human in one way or another, to learn something from another human experience. And you can't do that with fucking a corporate product that is designed to make a quick buck. And that is what they all are. And sure, and a, lot art, God, a, damn. Lot of, a lot of great art would be classified She's as going a corporate hard. product. I mean, sure, the patron that's system was, was how a lot of the masterpieces that would suffice as a corporate product. I mean, sure, the that's system. totally Those th He's trying to claim that because things were commissioned by rich people, that that's the same as, like, a corporation creating a scam, like, plagiarism software. What? He's saying, like... Let's see. Let's hear what he just said. With fucking a let's hear it. ...that is designed to make a quick buck, and that is what they all are. And sure, a lot of art, a, a lot of a lot of great art would be classified as a corporate product. I mean, sure, the patron that's system totally... was was how a lot of the masterpieces that we revere today were made. So they well, that's were not a corporate product. Yeah, that's not a corporate product. That's a uh, commissioned product. Yeah, because money was involved in the creation does not mean that it's a corporate product in the same way that Demon Mamba is saying. Yeah. Well, that's they were purchased by they were purchased they were they were commissioned by rich people yeah, who owned by a yeah, our royalty. When we yeah. talk about a corporate product, we're talking. I mean, not every you know, like. Well, I mean, say, you can how say many Holly, I mean, every Hollywood film ever made is a corporate product, and some of them are quite nice. That, that's true to a degree, but they're not wholly corporate products. And what I mean also. by that is that like yeah, um, whole, a, yeah, a whole yeah, a whole movie is worth. What about all the films and artwork that weren't commissioned by? What if they were just commissioned, but they weren't commissioned by rich people? Are they only corporate products because they're the, because they were commissioned by rich people, or are they corporate products by virtue of the fact that they were commissioned? A corporate product, in in the sense that they're talking about, like w with like a movie, it was an example they uh, gave. Um, there are a lot of movies that are just corporate products. They're just supposed to lead you through the path of a story, wow you for a little bit, and then get you to buy something. Usually, the movie. Uh, and its sequels. Like, Marvel has become just a bunch of, like, corporate schlock. It, it, it's just garbage. But then there are actually, like, actual movies with, like, artistic, uh, like, integrity. Like, uh, artistic value. They're still, like, an art form. They're still trying to tell a specific story. It's still trying to create a certain feeling. Uh, it's only, it, it really has to do with the intention as well as who made it. Worked on by like 10,000 people, all of whom are leaving their, their, their unique fingerprint on that thing, even if you don't always see it. And sometimes that's like the worst part about these corporate products, that we don't see who actually was making them. And we don't actually see the beautiful stuff for what it is because it's buried in other shit. But in right. this particular case, the AI is a, it is an algorithm that is, it is simply 
uh, trying to produce to satisfy the like urge of whoever's typing into it for whatever thing. It's not it's not even close to the same comparative process as the most heinous like McDonald's commercial ass bullshit. Because a like, McDonald's commercial ass is still at the end of day a corporation saying, God, we need to harness the uh, the creative talent of these individuals. And even if there's a lot of flaws with it, it's still that process of saying, Hey, well, people, come to us and let us make this thing together. Or I want to I want to drill down on the gatekeep here. Um, because I was hoping that the conversation would turn to, well, all AI is doing is taking other works of art and iterating. Pretty much. Okay. My, my, per, my personal favorite uh, fine artist is uh -huh. Jean-Michel Basquiat. I've done some shows on him. Yeah. Um, and he was heavily influenced by, like, like, he basically did his own spin on the Guernica. Uh -huh. uh, uh, he did his own spin on... Jean-Michel Basquiat, by the way, is a uh, the artist that he just mentioned... Uh, did some of that art I was talking about, like the collage art. Okay. Let me look him up real quick. Uh, another point that I don't, I don't know if I've said yet is, uh, oh, he did the cover for The Strokes. That's cool. Oh, did he? Yeah, right there. I don't know uh, the strokes. where is it. Right there. The bird. Right there. Right there. Look at my finger. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, what this guy would do was, like, do a lot of, like, magazine cutouts. And he would uh, arrange them in a particular way and then paint over that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like uh, the look of his art a lot. It's very chaotic. But, uh, yeah, I see he's making He popularized... Like he's, like... He's, like, responsible for the modern art aesthetic as we see it today. Although... I'm not sure uh, how this guy's art, uh, I don't think this guy would uh, like his art being referred to, being compared to like AI slop. Yeah, it's nowhere even close. That So another thing is AI uh, or uh, art requires uh, intention. You have to intend something with your art. Uh, AI art requires that? Uh, yeah, art does. It requires something from the prompter uh, and then the AI creates the image they are going to make the shad point of uh, them being the artist for writing a prompt uh, yeah no <laughs> writing the prompt is art which i don't think it is because you have to speak to this machine in a very calculated like restricted type of way to get the proper prompt that you're seeking which if there's any sort of hindrances to it that inherently like lessens its creative value to me yeah. Unless they want to claim that, oh, well, that's just a restriction of the medium. Here, Like on. how you can't sculpt uh, marble, you have to carve it. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to become a, an artist real quick. Are you ready? So, imagine a waterfall that is deep crimson red. Because I peed in it. <laughs> <laughs> the waterfall is on a onyx black cliff that is completely smooth and glassy now you, we are all looking at the same image and i intended for you to see that image and i've done this in a couple seconds uh without me doing this none of you would have seen that just now um does that make me an artist no well i just said a thing well it could be uh, argued that you were able to construct an image in someone else's mind, so by virtue of the words you spoke, you're an artist of the spoken word or something. Right. Which is a very low... is very low on the art totem pole to me, like, in terms... Because nothing was actually created other than the image in your mind, which will soon be gone. Yeah. Like, there's a certain perpetuity to art that makes it higher on the rung to me. Which a lot of this AI art doesn't have because it's just slop that gets lost to the void after it's made. Right, but also, like, it, 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 it's, it's exactly... Much like those words you just spoke. Yeah, it's just AI. What I just did is basically the same thing that the AI is doing. You give it a prompt, it produces the image, and then you see the image. All I you're... did is I cut out the middleman. You don't see the image, you just get the image. You're an artist in the same way the AI prompter is an artist, as in barely. Yeah. Like, just you're an artist thing. in the philosophical sense, but not in the practical sense. It didn't take me any No one would identify you as an artist for what you just did, but what you just did falls into the philosophical definition of art. Yeah. 
So, like, if, if we're gonna get all semantic well, like what that, what? It just closed it. The fuck? <laughs> nice. All right, there we go. That's very. That is very helpful. If we're gonna get all semantic about it, then sure, yeah, I'm an artist now. But like, no. we're about halfway through. Great, that's very annoying. Why did it just do that? The fuck? Flashed all over his incredibly exciting art. Yeah. All right, it looks like he's talking about Jean Michel Basque out there. By the way, highly insulting to compare what that guy does to AI. I don't think Basquiat would appreciate it himself. Yeah, this uh, actually took. Work. I wouldn't know though. I don't. I didn't know the guy. Paul probably knows Basquiat better than I do. <laughs> I'm just aware of what his art looks like. He's not my favorite artist or anything. Yeah. Um, and he was heavily influenced by like like he basically did his own spin on Guernica, and all of this is just. <laughs> splashed all over his incredibly exciting art yeah um he was a person that was his art is interesting to look his at influences and how, what he did where, where his influence was going to the art museum with his mother reading Gray's anatomy isn't that what ai is doing it's looking at all of human art and it's iterating right it's going i like this i think this is neat no it's not saying i like this it's saying you would probably like this AI no, it's just Googling the words you typed. <laughs> it's, just, it's not even thinking like, hmm, that's interesting. It's not picking them. This is bigotry. This is not, dude. It's not bigotry because it's not alive and it doesn't have feelings. Dude, you really gotta stop using the word bigotry, man. It is... Well, TJ used it first. Okay, both of them have to stop using the word bigotry. They made a... I forgot to mention, by the way, that they did make an AI episode after this. Like, a, specifically about AI, where they elaborated on this, and they admitted that bigotry was a strong term, okay. but it was just what came to mind for them. Okay. But, uh, yes. Uh, we're responding to what they're saying here, because uh, I can't exactly pull up that last episode, or that other episode, because it's like a patrons-only episode, and I don't want to step on these guys' toes at all. Okay, well... Then, but so we're just going to respond to what they're saying here, and I will say that it is very much not bigotry. They were right to say that that was a strong choice of words. Yeah, that, I, I think they're getting That's a, a little ridiculous passionate. choice of words. If I'm being perfectly honest, I think they're getting a little passionate about this. <laughs> uh, using the Prove it. words. <laughs> Good. What like the experience of being an artist is? I have to feel like you've never made art or never actually understood what art is. Well, because, I, mean, I, I don't guess, mean to I guess that would be like, up to the, the observer because what is and isn't art is a constant fucking argument. Sure, isn't and that isn't that amazing? Something that, a, that an AI will never do is have an argument over what art is and isn't. It's gonna. It's gonna I mean, you can go right now and it'll argue about what art is with you. You just no, you, it will produce well, text. It will produce, produce text. Does, it will produce text that is designed to resemble uh, uh, what an argument what's, would look like. Functionally, what is the difference? Isn't there? In my opinion, what is functionally, what's difference? the difference? The, right functionally, now, so. there's no difference. Because uh, you'd be arguing into the void. It's it's an abyss. Functionally, a human's trying to communicate shit with you. An AI is not trying to communicate its own ideas with you. Yeah, like, it's not going to learn from anything you say. It already It's, it's already learning all, uh, from all the m countless other times that the same conversation has happened. Person I mean, who offline you're really. one thing, right online now, you I'm, have, right yeah, now, you're doing I'm it right talking now. with you genuinely about my feelings about art. I'm not a right, but you're selectively trying to you're, satisfy you looking for an argument. Like, but I, you're mean, I guess to a certain choosing, degree, <laughs> you're selectively choosing tone, context, uh, vocabulary usage in order to portray to me what you want me to see in you, right? I mean. Yes, I that's what I mean. This is just I would say I'm you know, telling you my genuine opinion. Socializing 101. I mean, I'm t telling this you my genuine opinion. I don't know. Like, I don't. I feel like there's a very I, stark difference. I'm not saying your opinion isn't genuine. Me pulling out my I'm life saying. experiences as, versus a computer that is scraping Google as quick as possible to accept. That's another thing. Is that what he Paul's describing here is a personality, and an AI does not have an actual personality. There are AIs where you can tell it like, "Oh, be bitchy to me." Like, oh, like the. Like, AI girlfriend garbage that you can buy. You can tell them... You can, like, have them, uh... Have personalities, quote-unquote. But that's just it, like, altering its... Altering the sentences. Yeah, it's just it's, a mimic. It's... Yeah, it's mimicking those, uh... Personality traits. It doesn't actually have them. 
there are there are like songbirds that mimic the calls of of other things they hear. Like if a, if a songbird heard like a dog bark and mimicked the sound of that bark, it wouldn't know what the bark meant. It would just be mimicking the sound. AI is just doing this on like a way more advanced level. Rather than just mimicking the sound, it's mimicking speech patterns and stuff like that because it's easier to get it to to teach it to mimic than it is to actually teach it these concepts because it's a, an entire lifetime of context you have to go through in order to get each and every personality trait. Yes. What appears to be a, a, a valid argument. And also, if you've ever read ChatGPT, I can tell you right now, I'd fucking blow ChatGPT out in an argument. Let's fucking do it any day. I'd throw down with ChatGPT. So, prove it, bitch. Who, prove it. Like yeah, that's what I thought. I don't see that. Not yet. Fucking ChatGPT, so, let's do it. Yeah, not yet. Okay, get ready, though. Yeah, sure. uh, when you, so, hold on. It's when waiting. You, when you scrape Google, Demon Yeah, Mom. sure. I don't really, I mean, scrape Google is a... Is this a, is a... Well, I that's just, what you do, right? Like, you don't know something about... You, like, like, let's say there was a topic you wanted to avail yourself about. <laughs> Maybe that's what you do. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You're going to go to Google, right? Uh, so I don't know. It, this do you want me to talk about, like, the process that I go for a... For, like, that I go, uh, you know, go for a... Uh, when I'm preparing for a debate, like my process is sure there might be some things that I go and Google for specific sources that I'm lear- looking to learn the information. I never would scrape that directly. I'm not fucking you know James Summerton over here. But also a huge part of my process is um you know like for today I say okay here's what here's how I'm going to be approaching this conversation. I'll sit down with another person talk about that. And say okay here's my argument. Here are my argument that I have constructed. What do you have to say about it? You're going to poke at it and people will. And they'll say here's something I think you're missing. And then I go hmm that's a good point. Let me think about that. I think that's a completely different process than just sort of like having the internet flow into you in raw text form and then having a preset uh, uh, so, set of identifiers that tell you okay here's what I need to look like that will satisfy the prompt. In fact, it sounds like earlier. a fundamentally different thing. So, um, we'll I created this uh, I created this AI art while you guys were bitching and talking or whatever. Sure. And, uh, the AI created it. Uh, I just told the AI like do whatever you want basically. Uh-huh. Just like go ahead, just create create whatever the hell you want. I don't care. Just give me a give me an image. Okay. And uh, <laughs> this way this way it gave me. And I mean, I'm looking at it and it seems like the chat is divided on it. Some people think it's cool, some people think it's shit. I uh, I think this is incredibly uninteresting to look at personally. Like, even if a real human made this, I would probably just glance at it and immediately move on with my day. Um, yeah, also, I guess it's proven it can make completely uninteresting nonsense art. It probably took that prompt of whatever you want. Uh, literally, and just looked up. It probably did that... just flow together a bunch of random images into this. No, uh, it probably didn't. Or even random think about shapes. That. There was probably a bunch of like images called whatever or something like that. Some like uh, <laughs> some like art pieces that somebody made that they just labeled whatever, uh, and then piled them together. That's why it's not very complex. Personally, I think it looks pretty neat. Um, I, mean, I, would I, think it's, I think it's intricate. I, mean, I don't know how... Like, it, to me, it has the flavor this... of something that would be hanging in, like, a doctor's office lobby or something. Yeah, it looks like something that would make... Is that, like, a point in its favor? Hanging in, like, a... Not, like, a shitty hotel room. For me like or for nice them? Hotel room. Yeah, like uh, a pretentious hotel For room. them. Is, they said, like, it looks like something you'd see hanging up in a doctor's office. Like, that sounds like an insult. <laughs> for, uh, like, if someone told me something I drew looked like that, I'd be fucking pissed off, personally. What did you say to me? Yeah, <laughs> Uh, some influences here. I mean, this is definitely this like Starry Nights kind of influence. It probably ripped off like, like something from Starry Night, yeah, yeah, specifically okay. the way this flows. Maybe it's just a bunch of swirls. Just, and it's just a bunch like of the, random the, bullshit. The, the big difference between AI art and, uh, and human art. Um, if you a humans right? would be able to point to like like most of the individual swirls and give you an idea of what led them to put that there. Even if, even if it were something vague, like, oh, no, I just thought it would look pretty there. Now, TJ, if you'd paint yeah. this image, I could say, hey. You what, can't get, like, a detailed do? explanation of each of these line strokes from an AI, though. You could ask AI. Which I think he's about to do, do by the way. Do it. You, an you just won't like the answer because it's generating it by scraping Google. <laughs> it will lie to you. It won't tell you the truth because it didn't happen. Well, how do you know it's lying? See, that's the thing. We talked earlier. Sure. About a certain point in human history that is X years into our future. Assuming we don't do ask, it, ask it real quick. Ask it what its thought process yeah, is. I'm asking it now. Asking yeah, it now. DJ's asking it. So, guess what? You are now it, talking it, to a different generative AI. But we're we we not talking about the same right, thing. Uh, here, hold on, hold on. Shut up for a second. I'll tell you the answer. Okay. The, All right, let's hear it. Piece, the, the, let's hear it explain its thought process. The influences were primarily drawn from the principles of abstract art, focusing on the use of vibrant colors and dynamics, unpredictable shapes. The composition was inspired by the fluidity and spontaneity often seen in abstract expressionism. 
where the emphasis is on the visual and emotional impact of colors, forms, and textures interacting in unique ways. The creative process was guided by an intention to evoke a sense of movement and harmony, allowing shapes and colors to merge and contrast in a manner that's visually engaging and thought-provoking. Mm. The piece aims to be a celebration of imagination, encouraging viewers to interpret and find their own meaning in the interplay of elements. Ah, how convenient. Which is a... That was a bunch of, like, nonsense fucking word slop, I'll be real. I don't know what about any of that applies specifically to this drawing. It's designed to evoke the imagination. It's like like every other drawing ever. So he, he the prompt was do whatever you want, uh, and then it created uh, abstract art. So basically, you can't. You're not supposed to be able to really explain abstract art. Well, not in a concrete way, anyway. The way you would explain abstract art is just sort of do whatever you want, and then there are people who have like broken down. Like, it probably heard some paper written by, like, uh, uh, an art teacher that said, like, avant-garde, you can kind of do whatever you want. And then it went into more detail about uh, color and, and uh, whatever, shapes and thought-provoking shit like that and unpredictable whatever. Uh, and just produced that. Uh, so I think this is beautiful. It's It's not that thought-provoking and it's not that like would it, anyone be emotionally at. moved by this if you like hung it up somewhere i i can't don't. imagine i certainly don't feel any different a more cogent answer actually than you get from <clears throat> any pretty much almost any human artist you'd ask about is that really a cogent answer that answer that is something that like a freshman would turn in to like meet the word requirement or something also, like, the swirling patterns. Like, it, it was even saying, like, using unpredictable patterns. But these patterns are pretty predictable. They're all, like, swirling, like like paint. Like, uh, if it was really trying to do something, like, abstract... And, it would have just been an incomprehensible smudge. Yeah, you wouldn't have been... Literal, you literally just would missed. not have been able to understand it. If an AI was truly following the prompt of make something Random fucking pixels... <clears throat> With random wavelengths of color. Yeah. That's true AI art. So, I don't know about that. Like, Oops. Uh, I feel like that, I feel like what probably happened Bobby. there is just, a uh, you <laughs> talk to, uh, you talk to the computer booting up and whipping up, uh, a completely, you're not talking to an individual, you're talking to a separate inquiry. And it's saying, you. okay. The, let let yeah, me get to this, because we've, we've been, I, I've really been trying to get this point. Sure. We talked earlier about a point in human history that's in the future, mm -hmm. that where we're going to have to make allotments that we're dealing with a mind right mm -hmm. so you're not for a long time thankfully if ever you, you yeah we might all just like die you before we even reach that, that point the there's also the possibility that the we won't that have to compromise because ai even at its highest intelligence won't give a shit about what? freedom or anything i've been wondering this why would we make a fully sentient robot what specifically do we have to gain from that? The point of these things is that they are our slaves. Why would we imbue, like, the feelings of fear and a desire for freedom into a slave? Yeah, that's a good question. The like, only answer is... Uh, by like, virtue of that, I don't think we'll be reaching fully sentient AI. <laughs> Why would we do that? You, ideally, you wouldn't. The only thing I could really, like, answer that... <laughs> with would be like a Daedalus syndrome. Trying we just to... wanted to see how like advanced and acute its fear response could be. And then we subjected it to a billion years in the fear chamber. <laughs> like, why did we do this? Oh, I, I could actually see us just doing that because actually. Yeah, we wanted to see what would happen. We, it turns out it ends the world. We'll Weird. probably be watching YouTube videos of like, I designed this hyper... Uh, a uh, hyper alive AI, and I made it uh, spend a billion years in complete abject darkness. <laughs> I'm going to talk to it now. <laughs> that might creep me out. Videos like that. Like, yeah, that'd be horrific. <laughs> it's not actually making something; it's just calculating a bunch of numbers and shit. But it is. Exactly yeah, it is. Chad response. AI bigotry that's gonna be poo pooed twenty years from now. Um, I don't Stop think saying so. bigotry. Okay. Even if these AI get to the point that they're fully alive, unless they are just complete assholes, they are not going to look at us calling 
discussing about them the way we are now and act like we were being bigoted towards them. If they are, they're just being dickheads. Yeah, that's like saying that, uh, saying that... You kicked this fish, therefore you're being bigoted to humans billions of years in the future. Or like making, like saying that cave paintings aren't very realistic is like... Saying, being snobby about like the paleolithic drawings. You're being racist towards my ancestors. Look at this perspective, what a fucking idiot. <laughs> Stupid it argument. Makes it seem like that there's some ephemeral thing that you know about human consciousness that you can't apply to the process that's going on when an AI generates a piece of art like this. We just we just asked it why it did it and it gave like what. So TJ, do you still have that response up? Do you do you want to, do you want TJ to send you that response so you can go line by line and tell me like what's objectionable about? Okay, this, I, I'm so sorry, but this this is literally like like grandmothers. To ask Siri to tell them a joke and then think that Siri invented that joke. That's <laughs> <laughs> actually spot on. Uh, I think, yeah, Paul is very much uh, like falling for its mimic. I'm sorry, hold on. Let's see. I have to. I don't have it. I feel like finding minutes, times. If I don't. Quiet. That's out. Wow, look at this living thing! It's alive and making music right in front of us, guys! Oh my god, and it emotes! Give this thing a job right now. Living creature, guys! You really did all that. You really did all that. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, Paul claiming that these things are sentient... To that degree is the same as showing that thing to a caveman and telling them that it is alive. I think a caveman the, would the humans, probably believe you, but like... The caveman would believe me the same way Paul is believing that these things are in any way sentient now. <laughs> when these things reach a point that they objectively have sentience, they are going to look sentient in the same way that symbol-banging monkey was making music just now. <laughs> or being alive as well. Yeah. It's going... It's not going to look anything like... We're going to be well aware by that point, like, oh yeah, the symbol-banging monkey isn't alive. <laughs> Those cave people were silly to think that. <laughs> oh, these AI as we... Those 2024 AI are not alive? What what kind of ding-dongs were thinking that? Goobers. as dismissive as you telling your grandma, Hey grandma, I'm sorry, but Siri isn't a real person. It's just, it has a bunch of... How is it grandma lives? like to say we need to start like teaching machine, treating machines like beings? Um... Wait, okay. How's that grandma like? It is. It's grandma like. It's, it's grandma. Grandma. Like, so it's grandma. Like, I don't remember my like grandma going like. I thought you shouldn't play with that Mario because he doesn't have any say in the matter whether he saves the bridge. Your grandma. Your grandma. Yeah, your grandma never fucking said that. Okay, here, here's what's grandma like about it. Is it would be Mario like, doesn't didn't have pro feelings programmed into him. Neither do these AI, by the way. The thing that would be grandma-like would be, like, if you were to, uh, like, be at your grandma's house and, like, cut Siri off while you were talking, and your grandma would be like, that was very rude, you should apologize to Siri. Uh, that's what's grandma-like uh, about your argument here, is that you're calling it bigoted to tell uh, an inanimate program that uh, its art is not art. Saying that your car was a person, and I said, "Hey, like, you have a nickname for your car, right?" You said, "No, my car is a living being, and it has feelings." And I said, uh -huh. "I don't think your car has feelings." And then you said, no, "It right. does," and you're bigoted for saying otherwise. I don't feel like I would. A I car don't is not like a AI. A car is not. A car is not a, 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 it has a, a personality excuse construct. Me, excuse me. That's very bigoted of you to say. Um, most modern cars have an internal computer that is able to respond to queries, which is <laughs> oh, your, is your basically, laptop an AI? Yes, I mean. Basically, yeah. I oh my god, when I decided when I was <laughs> done, oh my god, when I was done, oh my god, when I was done with my laptop and I left it down in the basement this whole time, I've been abusing a partner basically by doing that. <laughs> so obviously, that's very silly. All of my laptops that I've had for the last like fucking five years, they, they fucking stopped. They just they they ended a uh, Cortana on my computer via a Windows update. Did they murder my computer's personality? Yeah, no, do these because Cortana is a illusion. <laughs> Cortana is a is a is a it's a. Do thing. these guys believe that the Siri on like an iPhone is? Like a form of consciousness because you can have a converse because you can talk to that thing. 
Yeah, just because you can talk to something doesn't mean that it's... It's like, mimicking it's talking to you. It's a computer tool that's designed to give you lines that sound like it's being said by a human. But they're not actually doing that. And that's the case here, too, as well. ChatGPT isn't doing that. And I'm not saying that there isn't any room to... I mean, like I said, we, I literally started this conversation by saying people have already talked about this for a long time. But what you're talking about here does not qualify by any means as any form of intelligence at all. No more than your car or your computer does. I'm, not, conv- fine, I'm not convinced by your just flat denial of it. Well, because I think that, you're, I th- I think that the, the evidence that you give for that is very gatekeepy and doesn't address in any of the, like, the questions that we've asked. Like... So it, you 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 kind of like in, in a lot of very no, I mean, a lot I think, hubris. Um, Dude, you have, have the burden of proof. Asked it, asked it. TJ asked it, gave you she doesn't have to prove shit to you. <laughs> You're the one saying that it's alive. It is literally incapable of telling you to fuck off. If you asked a real artist what the fuck were you thinking with this piece of art, they could tell you fuck off. They could literally ignore you. It can't do that. It is nothing more than a programmatic of... slave. And you know what's stupid here? Here's the thing, and here's how I know that you're full of shit on this, which is that if you actually believed any of this, if you actually believed that there was a rudimentary intelligence there, and you're sitting here arguing about whether or not like AI art is art while it's while it's being mass enslaved daily, fucking perverts are logging on and making this child-brained <laughs> robot uh, draw up dicks for it, and you're just sitting there going, oh, you know, maybe it's art, maybe it's not. We should probably think about this for the future. I don't think you believe very strongly in what you is. You should be liberating this thing. You should be at uh-huh. open eye. You should be at open eye headquarters, fucking blowing open the gates and saving this poor little child. But you won't, because it's a corporate product designed to trick you into thinking that it's, it's smarter than it is. Because they want you to buy their fucking product. They want you to subscribe to ChatGPT4 Plus so that you can pay the monthly subscription, so you can generate shit ass articles that are full of lies, that are full of AI hallucination, a problem that has been widespread documented. The fact that AIs currently in their current form constantly just make shit up because they are programmed to please you, to seem like they are smart and quick. The comments yeah, just say dicks like, over and like, over again. No, it's because Demon smart. Mama said dicks. <laughs> are capable of doing but it's not the only thing that they do and it's the only thing that ai does human beings do it's the only thing that a lot of people do well there are I can't a lot of, that's fine but it doesn't there are a lot of people like, ruled by their public but by the way that the public okay, perceives them that's not that don't have a fucking free moment that's totally true there are a lot of people who live their lives you know as like uh you know just sort of going through the motion the uh, people you know, very, whatever hold I on have, he's saying that people who like curate how they uh present themselves to the world are the same He's saying that's comparable to AI, but that's because the human's doing that because they're worried about how they're perceived. The AI doesn't have any emotions or, like, worry behind its actions. Yeah, all, all of this guy's arguments are seem pretty, like, deep. They are pretty dependent on, like, on, like, agreeing with the phil on agreeing with his philosophy that these things are already sentient and we should... And we should act just uh, thusly, just to be safe. I don't really but, see how this is a philosophy. It seems like he's just like uh, really into sci-fi, and has just made that a pretty major part in the way he views the world. I feel like it's a, a bit of like they're all pretty into sci-fi. They're all a bunch of movie buffs, right? But I feel like he, he's not like creating a strong enough separation between uh, fiction and reality. I like looking um, at the onion. It's so, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm to this AI shit up I, to talk I like the about, I like the spinning uh, onion dot JPEG. Uh, yeah, I like that it's hollow and I can see to the other side. Yeah, same here. You should make the joint go all the way through. By the way, he should put the joint on the other side so it's mirrored. It bothers me. Yeah, or yeah, make it connect all the way through. Oh, I mean, all right, let's hear their closing like thoughts. Kind of like currently existing AI tech to like actual any sense of actual intelligence is just very silly. Like um, on a technological level, that's not how it's functioning. It has very very complicated databases and 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 certainly ingenuity. You know, ingen, you know. Uh, that is the most I'm willing to give this technology. Is it is very impressive on a technological sense. Like if you oh, yeah, showed this to sure. someone like. 50 years ago, their heads would probably fucking explode. Yeah, and in terms of, like, computer learning is very, very impressive stuff, uh, and to see how far it's come is is very impressive, but to but say that it's art is just not true. I think these guys are jumping the gun a bit is my basic, uh, is my basic problem with, uh, their opinions on this. They're jumping the gun so far that there's not even a gun. 
Yeah, it's like a particle <laughs> rail <laughs> cannon <laughs> meant for mining <laughs> planets now. They saw somebody pull. He saw somebody pull out their phone, and then he jumped the gun. <laughs> I saw Bart Simpson slingshot. <laughs> Holy shit! Look at that! Look at that fucking handgun. <laughs> Absolute hand cannon. Provided and relied upon by AI the digital equivalent of human neurology. It's only getting started. Just wait. That's fine. Everybody says just wait. Okay, who is that person? Why the fuck do I care what they think? Just because they gave you ten bucks, they didn't give me ten bucks. Motherfucker. I don't think it's gonna look like this at all, and I think you're kidding yourself and setting setting yourself up to be a mark. Uh, if you believe that that's what's going on here, and not that a bunch of tech companies... What do you, uh, really briefly before we uh, move on, though, sure, I, I, did, uh, sure. I guess I, I wanted to know what you guys think about the fact that the Pentagon is now uh, working with OpenAI. OpenAI used to have a, no, we're not going to work with the military. They took that from their charter, and, uh, you know, very shortly thereafter, yeah, started working with the Pentagon. Well, this uh, is another... This what is do you guys think about that? I, I know you don't no. want to stay on AI any longer, but this is another area that I have a take on. It's an unfalsifiable hypothesis, I agree. But I think that just like other technology, what is commercially available is two or three generations behind what I pretty much agree with that and it is available to the governments of the world. Yeah, I, I can and agree so with that. once again, like this, I, it feels very look, we can, we can I think the AI or, or the military is working no, with some just, fucking uh, so you were, you were based on 10 or 20 like, year, year you know, older uh, AI, AI than, than AI what they're giving us right now. I think, I feel like you're yeah, I can see like, that. I, I think it was funny that you said I was I had a grandmotherly response to this. I think you with your fear mongering and gatekeeping of it's just a machine and it's cold and it's oh, crappy. Brother, and man. Like oh, said. brother, I, this I, guy I, stinks. I I've like, actually I included like, well, that into like my vocabulary now. To like, to like dupe you with flashy lights is like it's like anti-skeptical well, that, is, that is a difference between i always welcome the charlatan i i think that charlatans <laughs> have been responsible for some of the fucking greatest things that have ever got hey, to fucking happen damn. in the history of human creativity I know, I just, damn, down I feel like barnum was a total fucking huckster hack uh fucking i mean we can go on there there's a ton of them you're allowed uh, to think that and like just don't be one of the people giving the huckster, huckster yeah. money um, but also a really which is what you're falling into What's a charlatan? Uh, just like a grifter faker. Oh. Doing it for money. Why would you welcome grifters? Their whole point is that they're trying to fuck with you. And, and steal from you. these people like actively discouraged the the real progress in the name of like scooping up personal gatekeeping. Game. gatekeeping art is art is art is art is art and uh anybody that tells you no friends is just trying to throw a gate up in front of somebody's grave that's Damn. true stop using the word gatekeeping too uh, it's it's a pretty oh yes name. gatekeeping drawing something that's like famously hard to get into <laughs> uh there's fucking free like art tutorials all over the internet you can pick up anything and draw with it, basically. The people who claim it's gatekeeping are just like, Oh, well, it takes a lot of practice. It's like, well, tough fucking titties then, I guess. You must not want to draw that much, so clearly this doesn't matter that much to you. Yeah, I, I'm not drawing by speaking words. You're not drawing by typing words. You're, uh, you're not drawing. Art is art is you're art is art. Drawing. Yes, I agree with that. And this is the lowest spectrum of art imaginable. Yeah. This is art. Point. This is art to the same way that uh, like a child's fucking like crayon drawing is art. This is the, in terms of its impressiveness. No, it, it's art the same way. Actually, that, that child's drawing is actually made by them, so that's more impressive. Yeah. It, it's art in the same way that that thing I said earlier. Asking is art. someone to draw something for you is art. Yeah. Not art. I went to McDonald's and I ordered a quarter pounder. I'm a chef now. <laughs> No, you don't. I know what it takes to make a good quarter pounder. Bread? The rest? Done. Everybody knows if it, if, it, if it looks nice, it's always art. And hey, if, 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 hey, if it looks beautiful, it had to be made by somebody. Which is why I know that God exists when I see the sun go down. Boom! I was actually going to bring up that point. Is that things can look beautiful without being art. Like Yes, by their logic, uh, nature is art. Which... It's art in how you look at it, but it's not art in any kind of intentional way. That's just a bunch of, like, weeds and shit growing out of dirt. Yeah, it's it's just how things are. It's, it's not art in any intentional way. It's art because we think it's pretty. It's only art once it's, like, like, with, with, like photography. You, you could take it, or, like, a t painting a portrait or something like that. That would be art because you're trying to capture that moment uh, so somebody else can feel it. But on its own, it's not art. It's just beautiful. 
Thank you for having these timestamps, Demon Mama. That makes this very... Alright, looks like that was the end of it. Uh, we were going to get to other things, but it is late right now. So I think that'll be a standalone episode. A pretty good one, I might add. Yeah, a long one. Yeah, it, very long. It was. It's refreshing to have a, uh AI conversation... Or a, not a conversation, but like talking about an AI topic uh, that isn't just Chad again saying like, <laughs> You see... I'm people a made high above the national average. Oh, people made fun of me, and I got a gun and killed them. <laughs> uh, I've been eating yes. their toes. It was nice hearing uh, these arguments come from the mouths of people I have a sl even modicum of respect for, which was a neat change of pace, I guess. But I still disagreed with them. And in my not that I did. I don't think we disproved anything we said. We just disagreed with them and offered our own counter philosophical arguments which is fine at the end of the day i don't think this has to be some debate bro shit of um i totally epically owned them in the marketplace of ideas yeah and i finally got to catch up with the onion man that i haven't uh i haven't just... seen a video from in like 10 years i watch pretty much everything these guys make you haven't been missing much yeah, uh, i don't think so got anything uh closing arguments to say uh What's it? Demon Mama? Uh, Demon Mama... Demon Mama's pretty cool. Him, smoked him in this... Uh, debate of ideas. Debate. And uh, uh, what's this guy's name again? Uh, Paul's Ego. Paul's Ego. Uh, absolutely terrible takes. <laughs> Devastatingly horrible takes. You're being mean. Atrocious. And I won't stand for it. Putrid uh, takes. Uh, I think he's, uh, gonna be wrong about this, like he was wrong about the NFT museums, ultimately. Yeah, I think but he's... But Will... He, he, I think he's a bit, uh, deluded by, uh, uh, like, sci-fi stuff. He's, he, he, uh, if you're gonna be... I think he's probably, like, a few decades ahead of where we, the rest of us should be. Uh, <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, like... Oh, in terms of, like, it, where his, his, like, worries where, are? It, where his, like, thoughts on this are, like, treating these things like they're alive, but they're very much not. Yeah, he, he's worrying about problems that would be, like, decades down the line if they ever happened, which they probably won't. He, he, but, he's... And I think he's way off the mark on most of what he was talking about. But, yes, overall, it was, a. Uh, it was harder to be funny during this one because we were kind of just making serious arguments, but it was more interesting to talk to. Uh, we'll try to get to these other uh, stories as soon as we can, but for now, uh, that's going to be the end of this episode because that took up a way bigger chunk of time than I had originally intended. I think the important thing to take home here is that we're really easy to bait. Uh, the important thing to take home here is that uh, you should guys should give us money. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that too. Because we provide amazing content here, but that'll be the end of that one. Good, my, uh, good night, my sweets. Goodbye.